Hello, welcome to this month's video vlog. This month we're going to be talking about one of the control options that Heatline offers for our freeze protection systems. We have two different types. We have thermostats and we have timers. And this month we're going to be discussing one of the timers in which Heatline offers. The reason in which we may consider a timer over a thermostat is commonly because someone may not be able to properly locate a sensor for a thermostat on the pipe. This might be because the pipe is already buried, very little access to the pipe. So in a situation like that, if you can't utilize the thermostat correctly, it really is not going to give you any benefit. The timer is another option. The timer is used more so when applications may already have existing pipes buried. The timer provides another means of being able to control a system to enhance the efficiency of the heating cable product. And we're just going to touch on some of the specific settings and how the, the, uh, the timer unit works. The timer is very basic, uh, very simple to operate. We have a rotary dial and then we have these set programs at the top and they are based on specific time intervals. What we normally suggest as a starting point when utilizing a timer is starting on a one hour interval with the dial set for 50%. What this means is that the timer is going to operate the heating cable for 30 minutes on every hour. As an example, if we actually programmed it so that it was on a 30 minute interval with the dial set for 50%, we still are duty cycling 50%, but now the system is gonna run for 15 minutes and then remain off for 15 minutes, and then it will start the sequence again. I want to give you the opportunity to see how simple the timer is to program. The unit right now is plugged in, and I currently have the unit in the off position. We have an off cycle, we have an on cycle. If I actually turn the dial to the on position, it bypasses the timer and runs the heat line system constant. When we're ready to actually utilize the timer, it is a matter of just simply setting the percentage in that white arrow. And in this case, I'm programming based on 50%. The unit is set on a one hour interval, so the system is going to run for 30 minutes on this particular hour. To change the interval programming, we need to turn the dial so that this black arrow is lined up within the white arrow. Once we have accomplished that, this white square button can now cycle through the different intervals. Once you get to where you want to stop, in this case we'll say the one hour, press and hold until the amber light flashes. Once you have programmed the interval in which you want to operate the system, you can now turn the dial to the percentage of runtime for the heat line system. And again, we suggest starting at 50%, but you can adjust to suit your application to uh, either further enhance efficiency or adjust to ensure that you maintain reliability. Heatline suggests that you maintain anywhere between a one hour to either a 30 minute interval, preferably a one hour, but certainly not less than 30 minutes. By adding a timer option or any control in which Heatline offers, they will enhance the overall efficiency of your Heatline product. And it is suggested that a control be utilized whenever possible and a timer just adds to the option list. If you have determined that a thermostat is not a good option for your application, then I would suggest looking at the timer option from Heatline, as by utilizing this timer, you will definitely see an, an enhancement in the efficiency of your Heatline product. If you have any further questions regarding the timer or any controls that Heatline offers, feel free to contact Heatline directly. I hope you found this video vlog helpful. We will continue to release a video vlog every month. Please make sure to sign up to our email newsletter, Facebook, or any of our other social media pages. Thank you for watching.